When you're in the design of the table, you have a top half of your screen which is occupied by the columns field name, data type and description. But what you have in the bottom half of your screen are what they call field properties. And these are just general field properties for starters. So we're going to be looking at each field and its properties at the bottom half. So as I click on each field at the top, it has a different set of properties depending on its data type at the bottom. So let's start first of all with the text field. I'm going to click on title of courtesy and I'm going to look at its general field properties. At the moment, the title of courtesy will allow them to type up to 255 characters. And if I look to the right hand side here, that is the maximum number of characters that you can put in a text field. As database developers, you should be tight as you can with your field size settings. Otherwise, your database will bloat and be a lot bigger than it needs to be and very slow. It's much easier to be tight with your field size properties and then increase them on a needs basis than it is to have to turn around later and reduce field sizes because then you'll truncate and lose data. So I'm going to say that a title of courtesy, they really don't need to enter more than 10 characters. So I'll put 10 in there. When it comes to the first name, for example, I don't think they need to enter more than 50 characters, so I'm going to change 255 to 50. Last name I'll also change to 50. And so you basically just go through all the text fields. Job title, probably 50 for that as well. And the next text field is address line 1. Probably 100 characters is more than enough. And 100 characters for address line 2. So just set the field size for the text fields to any number between 1 and 255. Town and city, probably 50. Home phone number, I'll probably make that 10. And that's the last text field. So those are the, that's the field size property with regards to text fields. Now the field size property is different when you're sitting on a number field. For example, our number field is dependent. When I click on dependent, I can see the field size for a number field is set to long integer. But if I click long integer, you can see it's a drop down. If I click the drop down, I have a number of choices. If I choose a byte, then they can enter a number between 0 and 255, but no decimal places. If I enter, say, integer, then they can enter a number between negative 32,768 and positive 32,767, and they cannot enter decimal places. So I guess what I'm saying here is, often I'll say to the client, do you need to enter decimal places? If they do need to enter decimal places, then it'll have to be either a single, a double, or, an, or a decimal. Single, double, or decimal. But when it comes to children, really we don't have decimal places, and also we don't have negative values. So when it comes to the number of children a person can have, a byte is sufficient. It will allow them to enter a number between 0 and 255, but it won't allow them to enter decimal places. So that's a field size with regards to a number field. And when it comes to a date time field, for example, birth date, you don't have a field size property. When it comes to a hyperlink, you don't have a field size property. So the field size property only relates really to text fields and number fields. And when it's a text field, it's a number between 1 and 255. And when it's a number field, it's a matter of making a choice between the listed options. And your choice will depend on whether they need to enter a negative number, whether, what is the largest number they'll ever enter, and whether they need to enter decimal places. Now the next property I'd like to look at is the format property. And I'd like to look at the format property with regards to a text field first of all. So let's click on say town city. When I go to the text field town city and I go to the format property, there's also a drop down for format. But unfortunately nothing has been put in here. So we need to know what to type. If you type a greater than, you will force whatever they type in the town city field to uppercase, irrespective of how they type it. If you were to type a less than, you would force whatever they typed into this field to lowercase. And if you type nothing, it would simply leave the text as it was typed. Now I'd like to show the towns and cities in capital, so I'm going to type a greater than sign. But when it comes to an email, so I'll click on email, I'd like to format emails all to lowercase. So in the format property, I'll type a less than. So that's the format property with regards to text fields, and hyperlink is regarded as a text field in this case.
But when it comes to the format property of a number field, so let's take dependent, then when I go to the format property and I hit the drop down, I've got a number of choices. I can format a number as currency, which is the same as changing it to currency like we did with salary. I can format it to a euro, I can format it to fix to so many decimal places, to standard, which is a comma every thousandth, to a percent or scientific notation. I'm going to set the number of children or dependents to fixed. And I'm going to set the number of decimal places to zero. So for example, if you take the case of an exchange rate, I would probably make that fixed to four decimal places, if it was an exchange rate like the US dollar. So that's a number field. Now when it comes to date fields, let's click on birth date. When I go to birth date and I go to the format property and I hit the drop down, these are the types of formats you have when you're sitting on a date field. By default it's a short date, but I'm going to be different and choose medium date. So whenever they type a birth date in, it'll automatically format it to have three letters for the month. And I'll do the same for higher date. Click on higher date, click on format, and change the format of that date to a medium date. So the format property varies depending if you're sitting on a text field, a number field, or a date field. Now let's just see the impact of what we've done so far. When I look up in the ribbon to the far left hand side, I can view the data sheet. So I'll click on the view button. It'll ask me do I want to save and I should say yes or I'll lose my changes. And it'll also warn me that some data may be lost. It doesn't say data will be lost, it'll say it may be lost. Basically when we cut, say, title of courtesy from 255 characters down to 10, it's saying that you could potentially lose any data greater than 10 characters long. So I just go yes, because I know I've only got the one record and I won't lose any data. Now if I look at my data and I go across to say birth date, immediately I can see the birth date has been formatted to a medium date, the higher date has been formatted to a medium date, Here's my town, city and capitals because of my greater than sign, my email is in lowercase because of my less than sign, and my dependents are fixed to zero decimal places, and so on. If, for example, I went to title of courtesy, so let's just arrow back over to here, and I just went dancing on my keyboard, as soon as I hit 10 characters, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, I won't be able to put any more because I set the field size to 10. <laughs> as you can see. Now that I've tested that, I just press the escape key to drop what I played with and put it back to Mr. If I want to return to the design of my table, I hit the first button view, which looks like a set square, and I go back to design view. So what we've looked at so far are the field size properties and the format properties with regards to text fields, number fields and date time fields.